So in today's video, I'm going to update you on what I've been using lately, plus answering a question from the audience about making videos. So let's just jump right into it. So what I've been using lately is ground flower with my Stores and Bickle Mighty Flower Vape. So I have been super excited about this flower vape. The clouds that it produces are huge. It really gives you the satisfaction of smoking, but without the combustion. So I love this flower vape. It is seriously so great. I don't have a discount code on it, unfortunately. Stars and Bickle has a very exclusive affiliate program that I'm not a part of, so I cannot offer you that unfortunately, but all I can say is it is a great device and I have seriously been loving it, so can't recommend it more. It really is a great product. The flower that I've been vaping lately has been the Upside Down Dreams flower from True Leaf. It's a ground flower strain, which is a mix of two different strains. I like getting the ground flower because it takes the work out of grinding the flower, so it's a little bit easier to use for me and it's a great deal it's seven grams for $25 so that's pretty much what I've been using lately and what I'm thinking about doing in the future for my videos is I'm thinking about doing more edible videos so if you have any recipes you want me to try out or anything like that let me know in the comments or in my DMs or just let me know because I do want to try to do more edibles videos I really just love the creativity that gets to go into edibles videos and experimenting with cooking with cannabis is a lot of fun for me. So let me know if that's something that interests you or if not, then I'll do something else. But I'm thinking about doing that for my upcoming videos. So let me know what you think. And now to answer a question from the audience. The question was basically, what tips do you have for beginners just starting out with YouTube? And here are some of my answers. So first off, make note of your lighting. Good lighting can be the difference between a good video and a bad video. And it can be as simple as using a window in daylight. To use natural light for your videos, face a window with the shades open during the day. If you want to get more advanced or you can't use a window, then think about investing in lights to illuminate your videos. You can use a ring light or other types of lights. It really just depends on your preference and what you want, but there are a lot of lights out there for this type of thing. So you can look on Amazon, or if you don't like Amazon, then you can look at other websites, but there are a lot of different lights out there that you can use. So try to use good lighting. Whether it's daylight or a light that you buy, just try to use good lighting because lighting is everything for videos and for photos. So good video titles and thumbnails can bring in more viewers. This is my next word of advice for you. Personally, I like to go the simplicity is key route with my thumbnails and titles. I simply give the video a proper title and I always pose for a thumbnail shot with a smile, but you can get creative. Use a title and thumbnail that will draw the viewer in. Think interesting, unique, and eye-catching, whatever that means to you. Plus, think to yourself, what makes me click on videos and how can I put more of that into my thumbnails and my titles? Because the thumbnail and the title are what they're gonna see first so that is your first impression opportunity to wow the viewer right away next up here is a cautionary word of advice for anyone who's looking at doing cannabis videos if you want to eventually run ads on your videos and make money through YouTube avoid discussing or using cannabis in your videos I know this is a bummer but it's something that we have to discuss YouTube has rules surrounding cannabis and other particular subjects so they won't let you monetize your videos if they involve cannabis or any other topics that they may deem against their community guidelines. So basically decide if you want to make money or talk about cannabis and choose one. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. But know that you can still make money as a cannabis YouTuber. It is possible. It's just going to be harder. You cannot just click monetize and run ads on your videos like some other YouTubers can you're gonna have to look a little harder at different opportunities like affiliate marketing or sponsored posts. And these are gonna be ways you can make money as a cannabis YouTuber. So it's possible, it's just gonna be harder. So keep that in mind. And finally, practice makes perfect. The more you do it, the easier it gets. Trial and error is probably the best way to figure out how to make YouTube videos because it's a hands-on way to learn. Challenge yourself and make mistakes, but still try again. So that's my final word of advice is just to try it and make YouTube videos just by doing it because even though you might not know how and you might run into issues, if you find solutions to your problems along the way and just trial and error your way through it, you really can't go wrong. So try it and make mistakes, delete videos that you have to delete, 
<laughs> and just keep moving forward and you'll get there. You really will. So thanks for watching and I hope this helped. I have way more tips where those came from. So if you have any questions about videos or YouTube, please comment them or DM me on Instagram so I can respond to you. I've been making videos for four years and taking pictures for 12 years, so I know a thing or two about this. So if you have questions, let me know so I can respond to you. Thanks for watching.